So previous to Haverford, I was an assistant coach at Franklin Marshall College, and I love the Centennial Conference. So when the Haverford head coaching job opened up, I definitely jumped on the opportunity to pursue it and see what it was all about. When I came onto campus, I fell more in love with Haverford and just the feeling you get when you drive onto campus. And then the people I met were great and everyone was so nice and it seemed like a very you know, collaborative group and somewhere I could fit in well. My team dynamic is definitely fun but competitive. So they definitely work hard. They push each other to get better. There is this competitive feel on, on the field, but they definitely walk off the field every day, still loving each other and going to the dining center together. They do a lot outside of lacrosse uh, as a team. And so I think the, the culture and the dynamic is really strong and they really do care about each other off the field and even on the field. This past year, we had a very strong team first mentality and that definitely showed in our play and you could see it off the field as well. So they definitely are a lighthearted, goofy group, but when we're on the field, they get to work and are grinding and pushing each other and are still able to walk off the field, you know, as friends. What I tell recruits is firm but fun. So I think when it comes to practices, you know, we get two hours with the team a day and I really want to make sure that those two hours are, they're, they're fun, they're stress-free for the team, they're able to kind of let loose from the academics, but we still want to get things done. We want to make sure that we're getting better each day. So I'm firm in my practice plan, but the girls know that they can take time to goof around and have fun. And you know, we do different competitions and our family face-offs and different things to, to keep things lighthearted. But at the end of the day, we do want to get better in those two hours. But like I said, I don't want it to be a stressful time for the players. Definitely just looking for skilled individuals that are coachable. You know, when I go to tournaments or showcases, just looking for some standouts that have speed and athleticism, some, you know, good stick skills. How are they working with their teammates out there? You know, what are they doing throughout that whole game and not just when the ball is in their stick? But really, I think the most important thing for recruits is making sure that they're going to fit in with our team and Haverford. So making sure that they get to campus and I can meet with them in the office and get a sense of their personality. And then they can also meet with the team and see if they would fit in well with our players and if they could see themselves as part of our team culture. And then I think an important piece is to coach these recruits in some fashion. So making sure that at a camp or a clinic or a showcase that I'm able to work with a recruit and just see how my coaching style with them works and if they're coachable and if they're taking feedback well, because hopefully we'll be working together for the next four years. So we want to make sure that it's uh, compatible. I definitely see a bright future for our program. I think we've made some big strides these past two years, um, becoming you know nationally ranked and making it further this year in our conference playoffs than we had the past few years. Definitely see a positive upward trend and really gonna put my best foot forward to make sure that we continue in that direction. I definitely see us pushing to be a stronger candidate in our conference and you know move forward nationally through that. I think it's super important to fill out our recruiting questionnaire so that you can get into our database and I can have you know, all the information on you that I need. And then also just shooting me an email when you do fill out that questionnaire and introduce yourself a little bit. Let me know about you so that I can kind of put the two together and we can start that, that process of getting to know each other. If I wasn't a head coach, my dream job would be to uh, run a bed and breakfast um, with, yeah, a bed and breakfast up in the countryside. Um, 
just something I've always thought of. I went to college to get a business degree, specifically entrepreneurship, and uh, running a bed and breakfast was always a dream I kind of thought up of um, with my mom. Uh, you know, growing up watching Gilmore Girls, that was something they did in that show, and it was something I always wanted to do. I definitely like to stay active. I'm in a running group in Philly. I'm in a kickball league. I also like to bake, and I also sew. So this scrunchie I made. So I like to do some of those things in my uh, downtime.